This is Flashback, a mod that allows you to record yourself using third-person perspective in Minecraft. This is Replay Mod, a mod that also allows you to record yourself in Minecraft. No, we're not doing this again! Both these mods allow you to record yourself using third-person perspective in Minecraft. But in comparison, which one is better? First, let's start with Replay Mod. Replay Mod has been around ever since 1.8 came out, which is almost 10 years ago, and it is still being updated to the latest versions. Replay Mod has some advanced settings in rendering in the camera. Here's a quick overview of what Replay Mod has to offer. Basic settings, such as the ability to record single player and multiplayer automatically, are there. The show chat feature allows you to show a preview of the chat in the replay, but it doesn't allow you to interact with the chat and it doesn't appear in the final exported recording. The rename dialog setting allows you to rename the title of the recorded replay. Here, you could also delete a replay if you want to. The show path preview setting allows you to look at a preview of the path of the camera movement. This way, you can plan your shots much easier, making sure that they are happening just the way you wanted it to. Besides that, Replay Mod also has some advanced settings in the camera movement as well, but they are quite limited and not too customizable. But I won't be going into detail on what these do in this video, so let's move on to Flashback. Once Flashback is installed, there should be an extra button here. Once you click it, it'll take you to the list of replays you have recorded. To start recording, simply click this button and it should start right away. Once you're done, you can stop recording and name it whatever you want, then click Save Replay and go to the main menu to open Flashback. Once you open it, there will be a list of recordings. From here, you can edit any replay. Simply click the play button to open a replay. Once you're in the replay, you'll see many tabs. You can change the position of a tab simply by dragging it around. You can also stack tabs onto the same position if you're running out of space. Under the visuals tab, there's a lot of settings. Here's a quick overview of what Flashback has to offer. Under the GUI section, just like in Replay Mod, you can toggle settings related to the user interface, such as the chat or the boss bar. Unlike Replay Mod, Flashback has a section where you can select what's rendered in your world. When the sky isn't rendered, you can set a custom color as the sky. You can also use this as yet another green screen. There's even a separate section called Overrides. You can override the fog by changing the starting and ending positions of the fog. You can override the fog color. You can add a camera shake effect, which basically changes the camera's position slightly. You can increase the amplitude of the effect, or you can increase the frequency, or you can increase both. You can override the time. You can also override night vision. You can override the FOV. Keep in mind when overriding certain settings, the default setting isn't changed. Instead, you change it temporarily. You can add a camera roll effect, which allows you to adjust to the angle the camera is tilted. This way, you can make cinematic shots by slightly changing the angle. Yeah, this doesn't look cinematic at all, and that's where shaders come in. Just like in Replay Mod, you can use shaders in your replay. You can use the override time feature along with a shader to change the look of your scene. You can override the weather too by changing it to rain, snow, or thunder. You can also add a center guide as well as a rule of thirds guide. Flashback also allows you to add, rename, or delete scenes, and it also allows you to add a variety of elements, which basically act as effects to your video. Instead of moving the camera using left-click manually, you can press F1 to take control of the camera using just your mouse. You can also switch game modes and make any changes to your world. There's also a player list where you can teleport to or hide players. When you right-click on a player, you can look at it or spectate it. And when you spectate it, you can show and hide any part of the user interface, such as the hotbar. To exit spectating, simply press left shift. One of the simplest yet significant differences between Replay Mod and Flashback is that you can record the game's audio in Flashback. Now that we know all about Replay Mod and Flashback, which one is actually better? Replay Mod supports versions from 1.8 to the latest version, 1.21.8, whereas Flashback 
only supports versions from 1.21 to 1.21.8. Flashback is only available on Fabric, whereas Replay Mod works on both Fabric and Forge. But compared to Replay Mod, Flashback has way more features. So I think it's safe to say that Flashback can replace Replay Mod. If you use Forge or an old version of Minecraft frequently, you'll have to stick with Replay Mod. But besides that, I highly recommend Flashback.